What's up guys, I'm Dre here with Steps for Improvement and welcome to today's video. Listen man, if you're in the ages of 18, uh, let's say you're in 15, 16, 17, you know, 18, hell, even 19 man, then these tips that I'm about to talk about and I'm about to give you, I'm sure you'll find them useful and I'm sure you'll find them valuable for your self-improvement so you can level up in life and you can get that head start in life that a lot of people don't. Instead of wasting your time and instead of wasting your potential that you have in these early years of your adulthood, I hope, man, if you clicked on this video, then you'd much rather use your time to transform your life and to really get that head start. Man, the reason I'm making this video is that, you know, when I was in those ages, when I was first starting my self-improvement journey, when I really started to first work on myself and to really find purpose in my life, things of that matter, things of that nature, I really wish there was a video like this out there you know let's face it if you are between those ages i can completely relate to you that you feel a bit lonely and um, because there's not a lot of people in your age group that are really interested in those types of things <laughs> man i'm sure if you'd ask some friends of your age group what they'd rather do on a friday saturday sunday evening they probably wouldn't say working and building and learning a skill and honing in on that skill they'd probably say something like playing the xbox or smoking some weed with my friends something along the matter that you're wasting your time. The earlier you start to create this high value mindset and the earlier you start to really work on yourself, the better trajectory you're setting for yourself for your future. All right guys, so being 18, being in that age group, that's the best time when you can start to really hone in and develop a skill, which is super important for your age because especially in this town that we're living in, Creating a skill, developing a skill, and really honing in on it is really important unless you really want to live that nine to five life live in the rat race. So if you don't know what kind of skills are available to learn or to develop, I recommend you simply Google top high value skills 2023, 2024. And then you do a little bit of research about each and every skill and you find out what's best suited for you. So for me, for example, what I've been doing these last, this last month what's been keeping me busy from uploading a lot of YouTube videos is that I've been developing a personal trainer skill. So what I wanna do is I wanna take personal training online. So for me, something that I've always been interested in, so since I ever started my self-improvement journey, I've always loved to hit the gym, I've always loved to lift them weights, and I love to see, I love seeing the results in the gym, you know, me getting stronger and my body growing. Because, you know, when I was younger, I was very insecure, very not confident at all, and my body, I was like built like a stick. <laughs> Here's a picture for reference. But the good thing is that especially at such a young age, you will be able to develop the skill and perfect it. And once you are in your early 20s, you'll be for sure able to monetize that skill, you know, be able to make money from that skill. I think it's a bit too windy here, so I'm gonna try to find a new location. Alright guys, so switch locations, I'm back home now. It's way too windy outside. Anyways, it's very important that you find things that you're interested in, find things that you're passionate about. And uh, especially at that young age, if you start learning a skill, if you start learning some multiple skills, you'll definitely find out what you're really interested in and what you want to pursue later in life. And it's really good to get a head start in that area of your life. Anyways, point number two is to meet positive people. Create a network of positive people around you because if you haven't heard this before, then you're going to hear from me is that you're the average of the five people that you always hang around with. Meaning that your friends, mirror you and they mirror each other so hey man take a look at your closest five friends your closest three friends and see how they are you know are you similar to them are they similar to you how are they uplifting friends are they positive friends that really encourage you to grow and to really put yourself outside of your comfort zone for example or are they more negative like fuck man why do you want to learn a skill why why would you want to do that man come over and chill at my place and play some xbox it's not easy to create a good network of people to hang around with especially at that age i completely understand that i didn't really have those opportunities in my school you know the people that i hang around with but I still managed to make things happen for myself and I still managed to improve myself. I have a severe addiction to the office because I enjoy the awkward conversations that they have. But you want to try to find the most highest quality friends that you possibly can. Hell, that might even mean joining some forums online or taking an online course together with some people. You know, really putting yourself in that environment where you can attract those types of people, attract those types of friends, and really create your new social circle, a positive social circle. All right guys, so another thing that I'd say is really important to do at your age is to scare yourself in a positive way. So what does that mean? That means putting yourself outside of your comfort zone on a consistent level 
where you desensitize yourself to the things you're afraid of. You know, basic things like overthinking what other people might think of you. You know, if you're a guy, you might have a fear of approaching girls. One thing that falls into that category is discipline. Disciplining yourself to, for example, work out a specific amount of days per week and exactly at those days, exactly at those times. Alright guys, so I'm going to be cutting this video short right here because I'm going to be making a part 2 series of this video series. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video that's coming up next week because in it I'm going to detail 3 more tips that are super important for someone in your age group to help you get that head start in life, to get you advanced in life, and to help you become that motherfucking badass that you're supposed to be, man. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every single Monday, even though today's a Tuesday. I've been a bit busy, bro. Anyways, I'm gonna be catching you guys in the next video.